The move symbol refactoring for Python lets you quickly move functions, classes, and variables between files. Let's take a look at how you can use this. So when you're working on some Python code, sometimes you might realize that a symbol actually belongs in another part of your project. So in this example, I have a views file here, and I have a view that I'm defining called checkout, which I realize actually belongs somewhere else in my project. Now I could go and select this and copy and paste this over to the new file, but that's not great because that means that any references to this also have to be updated. If we instead use this refactoring, Python will automatically update all of those references for us, saving us some time. Let's take a look at using this. So first I'm gonna place my cursor on the symbol name that I want to move. So in this case, I've placed it on the uh, name checkout for the checkout function here. Now I can go and trigger code actions. So I could just click on this light bulb here or press control dot to show code actions. If we go and see the refactorings that are available, you can see that there's one called move symbol two. And if we select this, now we're going to see a list of possible uh, destinations for where this symbol could be moved to. Now my project here is pretty small, so I could actually scroll through this list pretty easily. But if you want to, you can actually start typing to filter down the list as well. So I'm going to type shop, and I'm going to find the shopping views file here. So shopping views .py, and I'll select that. Now what has happened is that that symbol has now been moved. So it's been removed from this file. And if we look at the files that have now been changed, if we open up shopping views, sure enough, our symbol is over here as well. The really cool thing though, is that this has also updated all references to this file. So you'll notice that a third file has opened up over here. This is another file that has been changed. And you can see that we were using the checkout view here, but just by using that refactoring, it is now being imported from the correct file. So it's imported from shopping views, whereas previously it was coming from the views file. Again, this is a huge time saver versus if you had just manually moved code between files, you'd have to go and clean up all of those references afterwards. So I'm going to trigger the refactoring again. This time I'm going to use the keyboard instead of clicking on the light bulb. So on Windows, I would say control dot. On Mac, it would be a command dot to open the a quick fix or refactoring menu. And then I can just go and find the refactoring that I want. So I'll say move symbol two. Now, as we saw, there's a list of destination files that we could select from. But if we wanted to, we could also use our normal file picker, uh, so the uh, operating system file picker, to actually either select a file or enter a new file path as well. So if we select this top option here, so enter destination file path, then we get the normal file picker. We can actually go through and pick the file that we want using this file picker or specify a new file name. So I'm going to go and select the same file that we had before. I'll say shopping views. And at this point, the same change has now been performed. We've gone and moved everything over to the shopping views file and also updated all of the imports. The benefit of the native file picker is that you might just be a little bit more comfortable browsing files that way if you're choosing a existing file. And then you can also specify a new file name if you're on Windows or on Linux. So you can go and enter whatever custom file name you want and it'll be moved over to that file uh, instead of having to just move things between existing files. So that's a look at the move symbol refactoring in Python. If you ever need to move code around your project, give it a try because it can save you a bunch of time.